hello, God bless you folks. Uh, at this point in the service, I would normally be giving the announcements, but as you know, the main announcement is that we're not gonna have actual services together here at the church uh, this Sunday or next Sunday. We're believing the Lord that on April 5th, which is Palm Sunday, we will be able to gather together here again and worship. Uh, the online experience though, I'm thinking we're gonna continue to expand on that so that you folks can uh, get deeper into the word and enjoy times of worship together with us. But for right now, I'd like to read a passage from Deuteronomy, which is Deuteronomy 8.18. And that reads, And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he soared to your fathers as it is this day. The blessing over the tithe is true and real. The blessing over the offerings is true and real. He gives us the power and everything we give to the Lord comes from His hand to begin with. So there where you are with your tithe and your offering, let's bring it before God and let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you who have established an eternal covenant with us and you have confirmed the new covenant in the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, Right now, Lord God, I pray a blessing over the tithes and the offerings of your people, that they, Lord God, would be multiplied 100-fold in Jesus' mighty name, and that you would sanctify, Lord, and protect that which remains in their care and in their administration. I thank you, Father God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.